hello hello how are you today i am back again with a video that's not my usual kind of video it's for all my self-employed friends out there and you know it's gonna be a boring one so please stick with me because i am gonna be talking about pensions but i promise you it's really 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 important if you're self-employed this is probably something that you either have and you were like good for me or you don't have yet and if you don't have one yet that is why I'm here. Basically, if you don't have a self-employed pension, you really need to think about getting one. Don't believe me. Go ask your parents, your friends, somebody who knows about money and say, hey, I'm self-employed, but do I need a pension? And the the, the, odds, the odds are they will say yes. Um, if they don't, it's probably because you are a multi-millionaire and they're like, no, nah, you're fine. Do you know what I mean? But for the rest of us, we do need something because unless we wanna be working until the day we die, we want to be able to retire. I know I wanna be able to retire. And yes, there are state pensions, but let's be honest, they're not enough to live off. You need something else. And also we only know what the state pension is now. We don't know what it's gonna be like when we retire. So it's just good to have one. Um, also, if you used to have a job and now you're self-employed, there is a good chance that you used to have a pension or maybe like multiple pensions. Pension B can help you put them all into one pot so that you know where you are. So it's a really, really good tool for both tracking old pensions and also starting a new one. And you can do the two together. You can find your old pensions, put it in a pot, and then you can start a fresh pension, which will make your money grow because you can make regular contributions. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how to manage your contributions. So I'm gonna to go to the Pension B app. I'm gonna turn on my screen recorder. Um, I'm gonna to go to my Pension B app. It's gonna log me in with my face. Ta-da! And then what am I gonna do? I'm gonna to go to funds, which is the third button along on the bottom menu. I'm going to go to funds, and I'm going to go to add and manage a contribution. I'm currently paying in 60 pounds a month, which is around 1,350 per year. And I wanna make it a little bit higher. You know when you're like, I wanna make it a little bit higher. I'm gonna go and do 70 a month. So I'm gonna to go to the little pencil button at the side and I'm going to add a little bit. I'm gonna go 70. I'm just gonna press that little plus button and it tells me I'm gonna add in 70. I'm going to get an extra 17.50 per month um, tax relief. And then every month, instead of it being 60 pounds, it's actually going to be 70, which is gonna be turned into 87 pounds 50. That's pretty good. So that means my pension's gonna grow a nice amount per month. So I'm just going to confirm I am eligible for tax relief. And then I'm going to confirm I understand the requirements of my tax relief eligibility. And then I'm gonna save. I'm gonna keep my date of the pension coming out. Um, as the first of the month that you can change that if you wish and then I'm just confirming and then sorry I'm getting text messages and then I'm going to go amend my contribution and that is it now if I decide I'm not actually making much money I'm struggling for money I need a little bit more money in my account every month then I can just take it down I can do it as many times or as few times as I want and I can literally change it every single month I can take it down to as little as 10 pounds or I can take it up to like as much as I want. It really does depend on like what I'm earning at the time, what my expenses are at the time, like what I can afford. If you want to make one-off contributions, you can do that. If you want to do as little as 10 pounds a month, you can do that. It's so easy, it's all done via app. So it's like literally like pensions for dummies, <laughs> which is why I like it. And um, yeah, it's just honestly so good. And like, if you are self-employed, I promise you, you need a pension like you really really do i promise you i know you're gonna think now i'm so far away from being retired but you just need to make those little contributions every single month the government will top it up i think 20 percent per month so you'll get more than you actually put in so like the more you put in the more the government will put in as tax relief and then it will grow with the markets and hopefully by the time you're ready to retire you could just spend your life going on cruises. You know, wearing Chanel, going on cruises. That's what we want to do. So um, yeah, if you work for a company, you might find you already have a pension. It might be a really good pension package and you might be fine, but do check it out. And if you have any old workplace pensions, it's a really good way of consolidating those pensions 
just putting them in one pot knowing where they are and even if you don't know the details you don't know the login details or the policy numbers or anything like that don't worry because pension b their job is to hunt for those pensions for you and you don't have to worry about it and then they can just manage them and it's basically free money it's like going to the couch putting your hand in and finding 20 grand it's great anyway that is my video i hope it's of help i hope it wasn't too boring if you've got any questions please do let me know i'm no money expert but i have created pensions and i spend a lot of time like thinking about how i'm gonna retire where i'm gonna find my money from because it's something a girl's gotta think about i can't be blogging forever guys anyway that's my video i hope it's of help i'm gonna turn my screen recording off now um so thank you so much and i'll see you again soon goodbye